guys, Neo here, and today I want to talk about XSplit Gamecaster by Split Media Labs. Alright, before we jump into this review of this software, I would like to go ahead and state that in the, the past I haven't had too many things to say uh, about the Split Media products, such as XSplit Broadcaster, XSplit Gamecaster. Um, I didn't like them, they were too resource intensive, and I just you know, thought they were kind of gimmicky, to be honest. Well, uh, with recent updates, I will say I've been pleasantly surprised, and I'm actually considering using Gamecaster now for doing most of my recordings. And um, let's jump right in, and I'll start showing you around and kind of tell you why I'm so impressed with these recent updates. All right, so as you can see here, this is the main XSplit Gamecaster start page. Uh, it has, you know, some quick tips right here to get you up streaming or recording very, very quickly. Down here, you have a button to open up a console viewer if you have a capture card, which I do not, but, you know, it lets you capture your PS3 or Xbox One or whatever you want to capture with it. You have tutorials right here at your fingertips to get you set up, which is a really handy feature. Uh, up at the top, we have uh, a few tabs. You have the start page, obviously, accounts, settings, hotkeys, and recordings. Let's go ahead and start working our way through those. So under accounts, you have everything you would expect for something that's set up for streaming. Uh, you have live streaming support right here uh, with all the major services, and, and they're really easy to set up. All you do is enter in your username and password for most of them, and that's it. You don't have to worry about stream keys or anything like that. Pretty handy, pretty slick. Uh, you have YouTube sharing directly from the client if you're not the type that likes to uh, you know, actually edit your videos. If you don't worry about that, you can upload directly from here, which is, again, a very nice, handy, convenient feature. And then all your social media, so it can send out a message for you when you go live streaming, which is, again, handy. <clears throat> all right. Under settings, we have stream settings, record settings, microphone, hi, guys, camera, and a few things over here which we'll touch on in a minute. Okay, so as you can see here, stream settings, you have everything you would expect, uh, all the way up to 1080p full HD for uh, streaming. I don't stream in that because, well, obviously, mm. bandwidth intensive, and I don't quite have the bandwidth for 1080p. All right, so if we open up settings, you have your codec, your resolution, everything. You can override it directly from here, which is nice. Uh, for recording, you have the same thing and the same button to adjust things. Uh, while we're here, let me just note that if you look here, it supports... You know, good old CPU, which is what it's always used in the past, which is why I was never really a huge fan, because it would just bog down my system greatly. Recent updates, it has brought in Intel Quick Sync, AMD VCE, and my absolute favorite, the NVIDIA NVENC codec, as well as the Avermedia H.264. My opinion, any modern recording or streaming software should have GPU rendering in it. And with this addition, it's really brought XSplit into the light for me. I mean, it's the user interface has always been really nice, easy to configure, and had some great options, but it was just the resource intensiveness of using the CPU for doing all the rendering. That was just the major new gotta get away from this to me. But now that that limitation is no longer there, this is really solid software. Okay, so we've covered that. Of course, microphone, you would select your sound your microphone or whatever you want to use from this list here. Uh, camera, obviously, if you have multiple cameras, you can set that up right here as well. And yes, you can chroma key in the software. And it's pretty easy. Obviously, my camera is uh, cruddy, so can't really set it up right now. But as you can see here, you have your threshold settings. You have uh, the color you want to key out, red, blue, or green. And it's uh, really easy doesn't have a lot of advanced options, but then the software is kind of set up uh, for the person that doesn't want to deal with a lot of options. They just want to get up, get it set up, get in there, start streaming, start recording, and not fuss with it. Okay, so over here, right there actually, uh, you can see the BRB graphics. What this is, is if you've ever seen one of my streams, if I have to go AFK for a moment, which happens because I'm a family guy, and yeah, no. <laughs> I'm a family a family man, so 
you know, I do have to hop up from time to time. I have a, a scene set up that, will, that says, you know, stream will resume shortly, be right back, etc., etc. Well, that's exactly what that lets you do, is set that up. And it's real easy to edit. Let's open that up, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here is the editor. You can select multiple images, drag them in, set them up as layers, scale them, do whatever you like it, to set that up. It's uh, Again, it doesn't have some of the more advanced options of say XSplit Broadcaster, but you don't really need them if you're not if you're not a big time streamer, you know, at the moment. It's a uh, it's a nicety that you can do this and that they included this into the software. So I was fairly impressed. All right, so that's pretty much all to it. All there is to it. Like I said, you can you know bring to front, select something, send it to the back, and you know scale. So you have all the important things right there. Let's close this down and open the settings page back up. Okay. Uh, you have your hotkeys if you want to set up hotkeys. Right here. All right, there we go. Uh, I don't have any set up, but haven't found the need to set any up, and I'll show you why. We'll get into that here in just a couple minutes when we pull up, pull it up in a game. Um, then you have your recordings, so you can select a folder, and this will automatically list all your recordings that are in that folder. Very nice feature. Really like that about uh, the software I use for recording YouTube or for YouTube usually is Mar Mar Marillus Action, and it has a uh, feature like this built into it, which is really nice. I absolutely adore it. All right, so that's pretty much it for the interface. Let me jump into a game, and we'll take a look at the in-game overlay slash HUD slash whatever you want to call it. All right, guys back in a minute in World of Warcraft and I decided to use it to show you off the in-game features of XSplit so let's jump right into it if you notice up in the left hand corner there is a little uh, icon that's showing my CPU usage like I said I, I, I like to have that up so I know what is going on with my system um, I will also note that my frame rate and CPU usage is not a fair benchmark of the software because I am using a separate piece of software to record me using this software. I will have some pure in-game footage toward the end of this video, uh, so you can take a look at the quality and everything. Uh, but right now, it might be just a, a little bit a little bit laggy since I am using two pieces of recording software. I will also have my computer specs in the, uh, in the description of this video, so you can kind of use it as a, a benchmark, as my system is actually kind of older, and this runs surprisingly well on it. All right, so first thing we should note is you hit control tab and it brings up this handy interface right here. Hi again. Okay, so from here, you can control your stream. You can start recording. You can adjust all your volumes. You can enable or disable the webcam, uh, send out social media sharing, add an image, which is what this is over here. Uh, and you can even do something like, let's see this, change tool T. You can draw on your screen and make little annotations as you go. So if you're playing League of Legends or something like that that uses strategy, well, there you go. You have a uh, viable way of putting little annotations up on your screen, etc. Yay! For me, I just doodle. All right. <clears throat> so that being said, let's see. Exit annotation mode. Cool. Let's go back in here and. Uh, while you're in here, you can uh, obviously adjust the size, position, and scaling of any of the stuff. You can even decide whether you want it to display in the stream or in the in-game HUD. Like now, if I check that, boom, hi, I can still see myself. Pretty handy feature. And you can do that with the graphics and everything. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and drag this back down. Okay. Uh, pretty much it, that's it for the in-game HUD. I mean, it is very, very, very streamlined, very easy to work with. It's uh, pretty cool. Let's see. So, you know, this is the meat and potatoes of it. This is why I don't have any hotkey set up because if I want to record, I want to stream. It's just all right here at my fingertips, ready to use, ready to go. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for my review 
of uh, XSplit. I am going to do another cut real quick and get rid of my second piece of software and just show you a little bit of in-game footage with just XSplit um, with just XSplit running so you can get an idea of the quality that it produces. And uh, I will say, like I said, I've been very pleasantly surprised about it. It is a very gr good piece of software. And I'm seriously considering switching over to it from what I normally use for YouTube, which is Marilla's Action. Uh, that being said, actually, there are mm, there is really one thing that I would like to be like to see being added to uh, XSplit for the, yeah, the recording functionality of it. A lot of software has the ability to split audio streams up, so you can have your game sounds coming through one audio stream and your microphone cutting coming through another, which makes it really easy to edit the uh, audio. XSplit does not currently support that feature. I hope in the future they will add that feature to it because I know it doesn't make sense for uh, streaming, but for recording, it would be a godsend. Um, that is really, at this point, the only negative thing I have to say about the software. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this portion, and we're going to go hop straight into some game footage uh, using XSplit to record so you can see what the quality is like. All right, guys, uh, back in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back, and we are still in World of Warcraft, still using that. Uh, this is being recorded right now with Gamecaster, so you can take a look at the quality. I think it's really good. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something to jump into and kill down here, shall we? All right, what do we got? Absolutely. Ah, here we go. Hello, Mr. Shaw. Oh, wait. I need to add some poisons because what rogue is a rogue without poisons? I haven't played in uh, a while, so forgive me if I'm a little rusty. Okay, we are good. Let's go and get this started. Whatever, dude. Whatever. We're all good. As you can see, even with in combat, it's not showing any issues at all. I would do something like a uh, FPS game. Maybe I might even go ahead and tack some FPS footage onto the end of this. I'm, I suck completely at FPSs, so it should be uh, horrifying to watch if I do. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not, the, uh, not getting any video lag at all. It is great. And I still have the ability whoops, to, once I get out of combat here, combat end, die, will ya? Please and thank you, maybe? Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good dying. Good dying. They, they did that on cue. It took us five takes to get that right. They start quoting Little Orphan Annie during the last take. I don't know. Method actors. Whatever. All right. So, as I was saying, to, in the middle of recording, I can choose to go in here and uh, enable. Where is my button? Button, button, who's got the button? Or disable, because I just realized the webcam's going, so I can turn that off right now. And then I can you know, also say turn this on right here, like so. And boom! Now we have switched things up. So, I mean, you can switch it out in the middle of recording or streaming without having to pause to even worry about it, which is really, really cool. So overall, I think XSplit uh, has made some, or Split Media Labs has made some vast improvements over their software, and I'm very pleased, and I'm really enjoying the experience using it. What did I just pick up? What is that? Oh, Liquid Shadow. Bah. All right. All right, guys, that's it for the uh, that's it for the XSplit Gamecast review. I hope you found this enlightening. Uh, as like I said, I was very pleasantly surprised about how it has changed since the last time I used it, which was quite a while ago, uh, probably a better part of two years ago. Well, that was Broadcaster back then, but 
Uh, overall, I'm just very pleasantly surprised of how XSplit is performing today, and uh, I hope you consider taking a look at it, because I know, like I said, I'm considering switching to it full-time for my recordings, the quality, the game performance, uh, the ease of use, everything is just great. Absolutely, I'm enjoying it. So, alright guys, I will catch you all later, and until next time, I'll see you in game. Thanks for checking out my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share it with your friends and family. And until next time, have some fun, and I'll see you later.